people were especially sane? What did what did you notice? This week, would... I know the weather was crazy here in Las Vegas, but uh, the people, I, I think, I, I think I could hear more and see more spiritually. I think than usual. I could hear really loud this week. I could hear really so loud. The angel Raphael. I've got a, a bunch of angels that talk to me, um, and uh, the angel Raphael uh, calls me dumbass. And so I kept on hearing, hey, dumbass. And but it was really loud. Right. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Raphael, what's up? You know, and so so, but it's like so I could hear really, really loud. So every time I would miss something that was should have been blatantly obvious for me. Right. Uh, I I would hear that. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, there we are. Good. I'm, I'm in the zone. And so, so, you know, everything's idiosyncratic to each of us. And so there's no right or wrong way. And so, uh, and most of the time, if somebody could suddenly hear their angels and their angel called them a dumbass, I think you would probably be a little bit surprised. You'd be like, what is up with that angel? You know? And, and so, but actually it's, it's, it's a real deal thing. So I know who's who. And, and so I had the same experience. I could hear things louder. My clear audience was turned up. And uh, sometimes I would just hear, hey, and I'd be like, what? And, and then I would suddenly go into whatever that hey was. And, mm-hmm. and I would find myself going towards something that was an amazing vision that made me really get something that was pretty important, you know? Uh, and, and so did you, you kind of had that same little thing going? I think so. Normally I don't hear, but then I heard little things that I don't normally do. Okay. Um, but then in terms of visions. Yeah. More, uh, more clear. Than okay. So, so you me. see visions. And so I and, think and, so. And, yeah. No, I think so. I can tell you do, you know, I can tell you do. And so, so I pulled you out of a seminar in Vegas and just made a big example out of how gifted you were. Uh, and and um, and you're really gifted. So I think it, it, it's great when you recognize you're you're already naturally there. Uh, but if you don't let yourself know it, hey guys, let yourself in on the joke. Really, let mm-hmm. yourself in on on the the joke of knowing that you're really uh, gifted. You have abilities, and you can use your abilities, and they're very helpful in your everyday life. Uh, you can have all the abilities in the world. <laughs> big deal if you don't make it applicable in your everyday life. So you got to figure out how to use your spiritual abilities, how to use your extra thing you have and make it apply, make it applicable to your life. And, and so you're a doctor, you're a healer, um, you're analytical, very analytical, which I love. And, and so you, you'll get hunches, feelings, things, and you, I'm sure it helps you with your practice. And so it's, it's gotta, does it? I do. I do use my um, abilities, especially every time I talk to you. I talk about how I get dizzy when I'm with my patients, and and, and it's because I need to clear them. I think, and so I well, do that. All of, the time. Yeah. Well, what happens is, and you know, a lot of times people do, and and uh, and you know, what you're doing is, see, if you feel a little dizzy, yeah. um, it's because they have dimensions going backwards. You see. And so you've meditated up, you've cleared yourself, you're really a super bright light. Um, and when you walk into the room, uh, if all, if suddenly your vibration is this big, giant, good energy vibe, and their vibration is going backwards a thousand miles an hour, right? Then right. you, 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 it'll just blow that off it, just by you showing up in the room. And so, and so, and, and then they suddenly go into a space of truth and healing. Do they feel it? Do they feel better? Do you think? I, they I totally, know. anytime, let me let, let you guys in on a little joke. Okay. Here, here's the thing. If you feel dizzy, they feel dizzy. Oh, so, so if you feel light, they feel light. If you feel Is warm, it? they feel warm. And so, it, and you're, you're empathing what they're feeling. I see. And see, a true healer, if you can feel it, and this is God's saying, I say it over and over and over, uh, because, I, you know, I, I remember I was, I was, you know, sometimes I have little bitch sessions with God. I'm bitching, right? And I go, God, why do I have to feel all this negative energy? Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. That was, I don't do that anymore, but I used to do that, right? And, yeah. and God told me, well, it's like this, you know, 
And as the angel Raphael kicks in and goes, dumbass, you know, it's, <laughs> right? It's like this. If you can feel it, you can fix it. Wow. If you don't fix it, you get it. Right. So what happens is you, you're going to feel it. In, and it, you'll feel if it's dizzy, they've got a big giant dimension, black hole, eating them alive. And so, and if you can feel it, you can fix it. If you don't fix it, it's all yours. Enjoy. <laughs> and so, and so for all you guys, and, and sure, all you guys are probably thinking, you know, oh yeah, I got this one family member that's always visiting, you know, grandma when I'm visiting grandma. And then here comes this family member and she or he is going to make me want to kill something. Mm -hmm. And so this horrible vibe. Okay. Well, if you can feel that, you can fix that. If you don't fix that, you get that. Very common in the workplace. <laughs> Very common in the workplace. There's always every workplace has a black hole. Here comes the black hole wandering through <laughs> the cubicles, going to show up at your desk. Sure enough, there he is or she is. And, and so and then you go, oh, my God, I feel this horrible vibe. OK, that's and, and that's normal. But what you have to do is you clear it. Mm. Then you don't get it. Gotcha. You see? Yes. And and so and so so many times people go through all this and they suffer this day after day after day till they finally have an impasse with one of their coworkers or their boss or their spouse or their kids or whoever is in your face with their negative energy. And so all you got to do is clear them, clear you, clear them, clear you. When you clear them, you're going to feel a lot better than you do when you when you clear you. And so and that's that's the trick. And and so and that's what it's like living on the planet earth. Now, sure. Most of you guys are probably earthlings. Okay. You live here, you're on the planet earth and you're going to be going through what I'm talking about right now. So you got to make it applicable. And tonight I'm going to, I'm going to make things applicable. Did you have anything that stumped your toe this week? Anything that was like, what? I don't get this. Uh, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Anything that stumped your toe. Can you think of anything that stumped your toe? Like where you're going, I didn't figure this one out. Somebody was ridiculous. Somebody was crazy. You were out of your mind. You know, they were an idiot. You were an idiot. Did you notice anything weird? I, I noticed my, I catch myself when I, um, I'm more aware now, like if I get mad, I shouldn't get mad or. Uh, then everything blows up, right? Right. Yeah. The end of the show. Show's over, right? <laughs> yeah, you got mad. And so what, what you got to do is, is when you get angry, all of your God matrixes evaporate. Uh, so, so heaven does not deal with anger from us little earthling, spiritually gifted, you know, people here. And so, so what happens is all of your, all of your luck, all of your good luck, all of your God matrixes that you've meditated so hard and manifested your new car, your new home, your new this, all your money, you know, your soulmate just blows up because your anger destroys it. Yeah. And so that's good. You're, you're getting it. See, when you can learn your own lessons, you're in the zone. I love it because you're intelligent and I love it because you're analytical. And so, and so you're just using your intellect to really get it. That's what a God matrix looks like, guys. It's all the light from heaven. I mean, in these days, we, you know, once I got into Zion heaven, I had to die a few times to do it with the whole COVID thing. But you know what? I'd do it again and again and again, just to be able to bring in this kind of light to the planet earth. Because when, when I got through that, those barriers is it, a dimension of death. And when I got through those barriers, and I got into this big, giant, amazing Zion heaven. Then these God matrices started showing up. Let me make it very clear for you. Prior to then, they did not. Prior to then, there that wasn't happening. That did not happen. And what is a God matrix? A God matrix is the ability to manifest whatever you want instantly. So these are the things you don't want to mess up. So when you guys just have a big old habit of getting pissed off all the time, stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. It, it, this is this is so important to realize that. There's a Zion heaven. Zion heaven looks golden and beautiful and amazing. And that's where I got my white outfit from. Everybody likes white. 
And so, and so, but you guys, this is, this is like, and you see all these sparkles in the air It's really, really something. And so, and you can see that all you got to do, take some of my Zion heaven meditations um, that uh, are, are in Gary If you're not in the online club, I don't know why, because you live here on earth, right? Because it explains to you all these things. So if you guys are not in um, our online club, in, which is the enlightenment club, join okay garyspivey.com and so that also gets you uh, meditations uh with me i do energy clearings on wednesday and every wednesday and i i i'm looking at and i and i talk to god i meditate for a long time before i do the energy clearings with you guys and so and then i i i listen to god he gives me special gifts that will get rid of whatever dark energy is messing with you that day it's really simple there you go spiritual master class is also uh going on uh, every uh at the end of every month we do one and uh just look at it gary spivey.com uh, enlightenment club and so join up this will really help you out and and it, it makes a big big difference to keep yourself tuned up because your energy is a little bit your own responsibility and so I can clear you. Now, I've had a great time. I've been doing private readings lately. I told you guys that I really wanted to work with you, and I gave you an extra, and I'll do the same thing tonight. I'll give you an extra 15 minutes in a private reading with me clearing your energy, and that's going to change your life. I guarantee it. And so I am having so much fun doing these private readings where I'm doing that. I mean, I love it. And so all you got to do is call 800-827-GARY. Dean will answer the phone all the way through the show. And and he'll tomorrow. I'm even I, I I got to where I like doing private readings on Sunday, uh, because you guys are free on Sunday, and so a lot of times people can't talk to me through the week because they're working. So private readings, all you got to do is call now, book a private reading with me tomorrow. Uh, if they're not all, if they don't all sell out real quick, which they usually do, but eight hundred eight two seven Gary. Uh, 800-827-4279 or leave a message at GarySpivey.com and uh, Dino will get right back to you. So uh, anyway, so with what you figured out, how much of your spiritual gifts helped you since this seminar you come to in Las Vegas? You know, I, I agree with your uh, Enlightenment Club. I, I listen to those like all the time. And I think that's where I get a lot of my my gifts from. And I know you said when you clear things, you don't have to think about it. But I think you said I'm too analytical. So I do think about it. <laughs> I think, That's which right. gift am I going to use? So when I got angry, I was thinking, give me that golden box with diamonds, right? To, okay. to, to clear up. Um, but what was your question? I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. So, so since I I worked with you the one time in Las Vegas, yes, in a seminar, in a live seminar, which yeah. I had to come back to Vegas real soon, and, and you all should. you guys all, all over, I'm going to come and visit you. I'll go to Minneapolis and Vegas and this, and, you know, all over, and, and so, but but this is, um, you know. I, I saw you change that day. It was cool for me to see that kind of change in a human, right? Uh, that's pretty amazing. And and so how much since you started really recognizing your spiritual gifts and using them, how much has that helped your world, your practice, wow. your business? Yeah, your, your family. Yeah. Everything is so much better. Good. Um, last, last time when you had called on me, I kept, afterwards I thought about it and I, you were asking, uh, everyone was having, going through problems and I, and then when you asked me, everything is fine. And so <laughs> I, I felt bad, but I think I'm why. in that zone where it's like the heaven on earth, on earth now, mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. that, um, seminar using the gifts, it okay. makes things easier. It makes it so easy. And better. And better. And then you end up in your heaven on earth on earth. Here we are. And right. so, so, well, I'm happy. I can tell you're there and I'm really happy for you. And it Thank only you. gets, it only gets better. It only gets, it doesn't get worse. It gets better. And so I, I'm very proud of you that you use your spiritual gifts. I'm, I'm happy that you're as analytical as you are. <laughs> uh, and, and so, uh, but realize just allow and let the gifts take over it. And then you don't have to think so much. It makes it easier. Can so, I ask you at this seminar? You said you came to the back and you said the angels told you to come talk to me because when a white crown came down, it was bigger than me and it just fell on my shoulders. What was that crown for? Do you remember? It was to give you God consciousness. Ah, and so I had to make myself bigger, is what you said. Yeah. And so then I, I kept on adding spirits until you got big enough for your crown. Right. So it, so it fits your it was head. It's too big for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, but but that's just because you you know human beings on the planet Earth, buddy, they're just like you. They everybody, we're all the same. We all get just beat to death every day. And so, so what you got to do is you have to just realize these spiritual gifts and absorb them just like you did. And, and that was an allowing thing. And so, so, but I'm glad that you found your heaven on earth on earth and life's going pretty good. So far, it's pretty good. There we go. Getting good. better. So thank you. It. Thank you so much. Hey, hey thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got a thing. I'm coming there. I'm really coming there. I don't have the date, but I'm coming there. Okay. All right. Soon. All right. <laughs> Talk to you guys. Dr. Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> I could feel that. You could feel that, Michelle. I think that's a lot your yeah. story. I think that's kind of your story. You know, once you realize that you could use your spiritual gifts, Michelle, uh, I mean, for you, it was like, I mean, you are like super woman or whatever, you know I mean? Wonder uh, you, you, thanks, you really, Gary. you, but you're really that spiritually gifted. And so, and Dean is that spiritually gifted. And so he is the two, really, yeah. <laughs> he's a freak. Yeah. And yeah. so, so it's, it's really great because you guys just have this ability uh, to what a day in your household uh, with the spiritual gifts that you have, what would it be like to have a day in your household without them? crazy <laughs> it would be insane it would i wouldn't be able to survive it if i didn't you couldn't pull your day off right no way yeah uh, i i yeah. Like, yeah i'd give up <laughs> <laughs> yeah because yeah. you do so much you take care of three hundred and fifty thousand family members i know that right <laughs> you're always looking after me doing stuff you know you're, you're doing everything else you do with everybody you meet you know and your yeah. intention is only to do good every day and make everybody happy Yep. And never and never forget anybody's anniversary, birthday, whatever's going on, <laughs> whatever. They stump their toe. It's the anniversary. I try. <laughs> you don't try. No, you do. Thank and so, you. so, but there's no way you could do that if you didn't have really a superhuman ability. Thank because you. we you you have you, you know it's really neat because you have your we all do. You know, it's really kind of crazy. Everybody's got their own thing. Uh, and my 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 crew are around me. I'm so lucky to have all you guys. And so because all of you guys have some superhuman crazy damn thing, right? And the so too. <laughs> yeah. And so you know what? We don't get jealous of one of our superhuman abilities. We actually embrace them and go, oh no, leave her alone. She's in her zone. <laughs> Don't mess with her, you know, and when Dino's doing something, oh, no, 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 he's good. He's good. Let him be, let him be, you see. And, and so, and you guys are always that way of me. Cause you know, we've just over the years we learned. And so, but it's like that. And, and Brian has become such a freak at the retreats. It like all this, you know, he, and, and I've, I've learned back off, let him do his thing. He's got it, you know? And so, right. We all have a, a thing that is like our thing. You know, and, and we just, and, and that's what oneness is. Everybody finds their space. And so for you guys, if you think, you know, you, you have to do what someone else does. No, you got to do what you do. And the only thing you got to do is figure out what that is. And you have to figure out your space. And so once you figure out your zone, then everything's good. And so, but you've done that. Dean's done that, you know? And yeah. so, and, and, and you guys figure out your space, who you are, where you are, what you are. And so, and, and, um, and you allow each other to do that. Yeah. And I do see allow. that with you guys. Yes, that's you guys, a big deal. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. I'm allow. back. Sorry. I had to step away and book a reading for you. <laughs> oh, oh, good. All right. All right. I'm juggling. Oh, I'm like the court jester. I'm like juggling. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. And you're hanging out. You're in beautiful Louisiana right now. You're, you're right. Yes. With this yep. yeah. Beautiful, lovely mom. 18. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> She's amazing. Yeah. 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 You know what? I think, I think, you know, it's kind of Dean and I come from kind of country folk, you know, and, um, and they just love each other and that's all they do is just love, love, love. They're love bugs. And they also know that oneness thing. It's sort of a natural thing. And, and, and so like your mom, she can come to a retreat and there's a hundred people slinging food everywhere, Brian and Judy and, and me and, and all, everybody's doing stuff. And she finds her space where she's needed and tears it up. She gets about 10 times more work done than most people that we hired work. And so is that crazy? She can just do it. She just nails it. Yep. She just does it. Yep. Yeah. Very thankful for her. She did a lot and she's amazing. Yeah. 
yeah. and laughs and is happy He's and is in his own <laughs> and is a cheerleader and makes everything brighter in the room. You know, how cool is that? Right. And so, and that's what oneness is. And oneness, I get Terry actually when I'm talking about it, because it's like so amazing to be one. You guys learn how. Here's what you do you allow, you just simply allow. And when you allow, you'll feel the reason I'm feeling teary right now is because I'm zapping y'all's butts with one with oneness. That's what I'm doing. I'm, you. I'm like I zapping you. With, you got hot, right? Feel that? Yeah. Feel that, guys? Yeah. And so oneness is something that cannot exactly be taught. It has to. It's a gift, and you you just get it. You get it. But when you get oneness, woohoo! It is nice. It is nice because then you get to be your true you. All you got to do is be your authentic self. Say the words, I am, I am, I am. Okay. And think of the, I am consciousness, the, I am consciousness. Do we have Hey Judy, throw that picture up of the, I am throne up in the, I am heaven. And so, and I never could see this. I only got to where I could see this recently when at the last spiritual retreat, I, I got to where I could see the, I am heaven. And, and I could go to the, I am heaven, but I didn't go to uh, the, I am palace. And so once I got to the I am palace at the last spiritual retreat, it was really pretty crazy. The spiritual gifts I got today, I was out. There we go. That's it. Okay. Just imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. I'm right in front of the I am and looking at him and looking at the crystals behind him. And now all you got to do is empath me and you'll be there. Bam. There you are. See, really easy to do. Now you guys warmed up. You feel your, your whole body getting warm now. And so this is a big spiritual gift uh, that's all around you now. Some of you guys, you feel your head expanding. The back of your neck got a little warm. That's your God cord. And so see, I see people shaking their head like, oh, my God, yeah, back of my neck got warm. You know, and then you feel your chest getting lighter, your hands getting lighter. Uh, and that's when you tap into I am. I am is the collective consciousness being of all the enlightened beings in God's universes. So when you tap into I am, you tap into the whole shebang, okay? And you're going to get spiritual gifts from all these big beings. And so this is like, and I know you guys, you know, when you, you look at tapping in and you're used to me, you kind of go, yeah, well, that's what he does, la, la, la. No, you don't understand nobody really kind of does this. Okay. Um, and so it's not like I'm saying, Hey, I'm so cool. I'm so special. No, you're so cool. And you're so special. And I may be the first person to recognize that. I don't know if I am the first or the last or the middle. I could care less. All I, and there's no race. There's no race with spirituality. And so some of you guys I read some days are really more gifted than me and you just don't know it yet. And so use your own spiritual gifts, be your true I am, and you're going to be really surprised at how good your life goes. And so it, it works like that. And so you guys are looking good. Michelle, who we, oh, there, that's a really cool one. That's the great I am uh, as he's above the Milky Way universe. That's really cool. Neat. Michelle, who are we talking to? Who are we talking Thank to? Thank you, tonight? Gary. I've, I've got quite a few new people on here. So I would like to go ahead and uh, spotlight Jessica Perlotta. Jessica, thank you, you for her. being so patient. I'm going to go ahead and spotlight okay. you. Thank you. Hi, thank you for being here. Please unmute. Hi. Me. Can you hear me? Hey, Jessica. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you, honey? Oh, uh, good. Good. What's Not your good. question? What's well, I your get question? To be with my husband forever. Will you have to deal with him forever? No. Well, I get to be with him. Oh, he forever. Died from he died from suicide on the 16th of August. His birthday was the 20th. We've been together uh, since we were 15. Oh my God. I can't even relate to how much pain you're in. Let, yep. let me help. Let, let me look and see if, if where he is. Okay. Please. You see, sometimes, most of the time when people die of suicide, they get hung. Okay. And they're earthbound. I don't know if he is or not. I have to look and see, but I just want to let you know what this is. Okay. And so I may find him and he's in heaven having a good time, or I may find him and he's earthbound hung in the moment of death. Okay. If he's hung in the moment of death, you have to help me get him over to the other side. Okay. Is that okay? I don't know. I want him back. Yeah. Yes. Well, let's, well, you're going to feel so much better if he's like, let me look and see if he's earthbound. 
He's holding his head, freaking out. How did he die? Can I tell him the truth? Um, we tried to take our lives together, and I took pills, and he strangled himself, and I didn't know he was dead for a week. I was in the mental hospital. Okay. That's a terrible way. <laughs> and so uh, he's holding his head because he strangled himself. See, his head fell out. He's holding his head, <laughs> trying to trying to hold his head up. Okay. And so, and so that's what he's doing. I want you to call his name. Call his name. Bernard. <laughs> Love you. Well, Okay, good. Okay, call his name again. Bernard. Okay, I want you to tell him to look up right now. Tell him to look Can you up. Look up at us. He did. Okay, good. All right, tell him to look straight up and take the angel's hand. Can you look up and straight and take the angel's hand? He did it. Okay, very good. You're doing good. Okay, tell him to take the other other hand of the angel. Take the other hand of the angel. Take the other hand of the angel, babe. Okay, he did it. Okay, good. Tell him to take one step into that light. Can you take a step into the light? He one did step? it. He did it. Okay, tell him to take one more step. Take one more step. There, he did it. There he goes. Okay, there we go. Look how warm you got. See, you felt warm yeah. all the way. Feel it. You got hot yeah. all through your yeah. body. I'm sweating. Okay. okay, you saved him from being hung in the moment of death forever. Okay. Oh. You saved him. So don't feel bad. It's sad. You never, you know, it's not like a good thing, but you saved him. So know you did him the biggest favor that anyone could do anyone. Okay, honey. Does he have any messages for me? He can't. He, he, he died one minute ago in his world. In his world, see, he died one minute ago. So, you know. He's like, he, he's like, he, he's going to be fine. Notice how your head got quiet, calm, mm -hmm. feel it. Yep. You were tapped into him going through all that. <laughs> That's the reason you were, you were beat to death and, and drove yourself half crazy. Okay. And so he's going to be fine. Now you get yourself fine. I'm going to clear all the demons off you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't kill yourself. That's against God's rules. That's dumb. Okay. If you can't kill yourself, that's against God's rules. And so your life is a gift. It's a beautiful gift from heaven, from God. And it's not up to you to, to decide whether you take it or you do this or you do that. That's, that's up to God. And so, and if you kill yourself, you don't go anywhere. You get hung in that moment of death, like your, your poor husband did. So there we go. And so, so don't do that. Okay. Now, but see, now you feel calm in your head. Your head is so quiet. You don't even know how to act your head. It's quiet, right? Totally quiet. I can hear it's quiet. Yeah. No demons are messing with you now. And here, the best thing is no demons are messing with him. He's good. He's on his way to heaven. Takes a few minutes to get there and he's going to be fine. And you will be too. I'm going to send you lots of love. Everybody's projecting love to you. Okay. I'll get to see him forever when I go later. Yeah, on. of course. Yeah. Okay. Now you will. The other way you wouldn't have, but you did him a big favor. You're going to, yeah, it's fine. But, but you can't go take your life and decide that that's what you do. Whatever, whoever got you guys into that mode is crazy. I mean, that you can't do that. It won't work. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Thank you so you much. You got it. Okay. Good luck, honey. Thank Good you. Luck. Yeah. Thank you. Good Good luck. Thank you Beautiful. so much. You're welcome so much. That was great, Gary. Good job. You're welcome. A little crazy, huh? That's a crazy story. Oh. That's a crazy story, and that's a crazy thing. And there's a lot of crazy yeah. things that happen every day, guys. And you know, the demons get a hold of us and do do stuff to us, and they hurt us, and they hurt our family members. And we just got to be a little tougher than them, and we got to be a little smarter than them, and we got to be really way more gifted than them, which is not hard to do. Uh, right now, you guys can really get any spiritual gift you need to do anything you need to do. You really can. And you got to ask for those big gifts. And so that's all you got to do. And then do some good with those gifts every week. And the more good you do, hey, the better your life is. It works like that. Who are we talking to, Michelle? Hey, Gary, I got another new person. Her name is Julia. I believe, I don't I don't know if that's her last name, but it starts with a B. Julia, hi, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you. 
Just go ahead and unmute. Hi. Hi I like you. you. I like you. You're you're nice. Hi. You help you help people all the time, right? <laughs> Who me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess so. I don't know. I think, Maybe I, I think <laughs> I think you do. I think you do. I can see you really do care. You got one of those vibes like Michelle. You just help people. Uh -huh. You know, oh, so what's your question, honey? How can I help you? What's your question? I don't know if I have one. I really didn't think I was going to get picked. Oh, that's all right. Um, I'll just talk to you. Yeah, we just talk. Um, I What's going on right now is I could tell you that with, the energy has just been weird. I've been like up, down, all around. <laughs> that um, makes sense. That means you get it. That means you're energy <laughs> sensitive. It means you understand what's happening. You know, right? Yeah, I'm a woman. I'm happy. I spend. I'm mad. And I'm frustrated. And I'm sad. And it's just all over the place. Um, so navigating through that's been fun. But um, I feel like the only thing I'm kind of stumped on right now is like I have. I feel like I'm getting clear messages and like visions. And it's. I hear you are. Ah. Uh, I hear you are. You are. Oh, good. And it's the physical uh, manifestation of it that is not happening in my timeline <laughs> that I wanted to. So I see what yeah, I got to say. Like I got to. I got. I, I got to say this. Okay. Yeah. If you if you move to God's timeline, right? <laughs> Which is a which is a crazy concept. Okay, you ready? It's perfect every time. It's perfect every time, and it's called allowing. Yeah. And so, yeah. was your mom a control freak? I think all moms. I think all moms are. No, they're not. Well, no. I think no. we. I don't know. Maybe we start out that way, and then we kind of fade out. Yeah, but was but, your mother? Was your mother a control freak? Um. I don't know if she was a control freak or more. I mean, I, I don't feel like she was as I was older. I don't really remember her being controlling when I was younger. She was very open to us kind of exploring, but Good. it was more codependent. Right. Okay. So maybe control in that way. Mm -hmm. She that was codependent, sense? codependent with you, codependent with her husband, codependent, codependent with, with, with me. It was like an unhealthy relationship in right. a sense right right of control i can see I guess it. So, yeah yeah yeah, I guess yeah. So. you're you're turning where's your mom now she's in jersey okay you're turning into her uh -huh. well i've been working on not i was working on doing the opposite uh -huh. but you're <laughs> turning you're but you're here's the thing see everything pretty much 90 now let me read the number 93 percent let me read. No, again, 94% of your, all your problems have to do with you becoming her. Mm, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's you mean, I'm working very hard on not being her. Okay. <laughs> Would you like for me to fix it right this moment? Sure. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Good. And so, <laughs> so there's a dimension where you get possessed by other people. Okay. You can be possessed by demons. That's common, but you can also be possessed by other people not as common you're possessed by your mother and so therefore you're becoming her mm. um and so at at um are you below the age of you, you look really young okay i'm 45 i have no problem saying my age okay good at 52 you become full-fledged <laughs> her at 52 at 52 you become her totally mm. and you'll live a miserable life for the rest of your life now no. that's a bad reading, right? Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could. Honestly, it could. if I if I clear this dimension, it will not happen. So okay. you want me to clear it? Sure. You got to really want me to, though. Well, yes. Okay. I'm okay. Sorry. I say sure because I mean th that's the yes for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay. A no but you, did you really? But you really want me to? So okay, let me clear it. Okay. Yeah. And so so. Uh, well, I already say, got hot before you even said that. You did. Yeah, I so see you starting to sweat. Okay, <laughs> Go, tell me tell me your mom's name. Julia, or Julie, okay. same name. Okay. All right. 708 mother demons. Okay, 
that's how many okay. you had around you. And now okay. I I got rid of. Um, give me a minute. I'll get them all. There we go. And there we are. And there we are. Look at that. Look how you feel. <laughs> Feet are buzzy. You're lighter. I see all this bright light going into you. I see a band of angels moving around you. I see you starting to really crazy heal a little bit teary. I see these angels really helping you. You got a lot of angels, right? And they couldn't get a hold of you because of of your, of your mother's uh, energy projected in a control freak way. Uh, When you project Mm -hmm. control to anybody, um, what happens is you have a negative thought that leaves your head, goes to the, and it becomes a hybrid demon. And and Mm. that's what a negative higher self is. And this negative higher self of your mom's, anyway, she had 708 of these things projected to you. And I just peeled them off you. So now then you won't become your mother at 52 years old. You actually won't become her today (laughs) or tomorrow. And you're going to find that all all these things that you're trying to beat through because you're smart enough uh, and kind enough and loving enough not to be that thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, all those things will kick in with you and you're going to be happy camper. And so, so I, I felt her come out in an experience once where I physically purged her out. Um, Good. Yeah. And we went through like, well, we're still kind of going through this. Like I was very clear. I had to distance myself. Um, but when you went through that experience, let me say something. You were you sure. were spiritually smart enough to do this on your own, which yeah. is brilliant. By the way, this is nanotechnology of being a spiritually gifted person to be able to do this little thing that I just did. And you did it on your own. Uh, and she, you had about 1,500 of those mother demons. And you got rid of about half of them in that experience you're talking about. And so that really freed you up a lot, right? I did got- it with plant medicine, though, not completely on my own. Well, whatever you did, what'd you do it oh, with? Okay. What'd you do uh, it plant with? Med- with plant medicine. Oh, okay. All right. Was yeah. it ayahuasca or something like this? Yeah, it was a form oh. of ayahuasca. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes people have those good experiences and that really does truly work. And sometimes they yes. have a bad experience and it truly don't yes. work. You know, it depends <laughs> yes. on whoever's leading the, leading the, the yeah. band there. Um, but, but this, but, but it really, in your case worked. Okay. So, and you were aware of it. You're like, oh my God, I feel better. Well, now you're going to feel twice as good because I got rid of the other half. Oh, she, um, I actually do have a question now, if that's okay. Cause it's kind of, yeah, kind of- yeah, okay. honey. Yeah. Your, your thing's interesting. I'm having fun with it. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, she's from Ecuador and was born and raised in Ecuador. And she's had a lot of, um, spirits around her and, mm-hmm always felt like it was like dark energy around her. And my brother has shared that he's felt like there was dark energy around her. And in my experience, it showed me and confirmed that there was dark energy around her. Um, yeah. I heard and- grandma, I heard grandma voodoo. So there was a grandma could be grandma, great grandma, but there was a grandma voodoo in the crowd. Who's that? I think that was not my mother's mother, but her mother, because my mother's mother was fighting them off. Yeah. She was always putting up stuff to keep them away because um, they would come and bother my grandfather and my mother and her brothers. Right. Mainly the men, though, not so much her, but somehow they attached to her. But mm-hmm. the men in my family have been really, I don't want to say haunted, but kind of like Plagued. haunted. Plagued. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with right. a lot of dark energies that come up. Right. My uncles, my grandfather and my brother and yeah. my uh, nephews so yeah and you I guys don't... you know everybody watching this you think you have problems look at this i mean no this is crazy <laughs> because this can happen i see yeah, it you know, and, yeah and i see it i see it from a lot of the countries that really do understand magic good and magic bad ecuador yeah. is a country that understands magic good magic bad and a lot of the, the a lot of the yeah. uh you know south american countries do and, and so this is something very, very common. I had a, a, a really big radio show once upon a time in um, Miami, you know, for mm-hmm. years, for like, I don't know, 10 years. And I read a lot of people who were going through this because a lot of Ecuadorian people live in Miami. A lot of Colombian people live in Miami. Yeah. And so it, it really happens. And so, um, and well, I don't know how to support 
my mother or even the rest of my family in that I have, for me personally, I have seen uh, Lady Guadalupe multiple times in my, yeah. in my meditation, in my presence and in my, just in my room, in my bed. And I feel I've seen and felt Archangel Michael. Yeah. On um, one side as well. Oh. So I feel mm-hmm. I have well, the dark. Well, you're going to find it. Here's what you'll find now after this moment. You're going to see all kinds of stuff. Okay. And so, so you can get in touch with basically anybody you want to talk to. And so, uh, because you were super, super gifted, uh, really seriously blocked by the mother mojo. And mm. so, so, and you were just possessed by that. And now you're going to be you in the movie and you're going to really have a great time. Have, you're going to have fun with this. That's what I see. Ask God for, ask God for the spiritual gift of his crown. If you mm. would, God, give me a white crown now. Yeah. Well, okay. God, give me a white crown, please. Please. There we go. All right. You gotta be nice to God. There <laughs> we go. right. Please. Yeah. Now you're getting pretty warm. I see you starting to sweat. <laughs> see, see how warm you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. This gave you a God consciousness. You're going to really have fun with it. Let me know how you do. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. It gets better. Yeah. Okay. It gets better and better for you. You're cool. You're really cool. Thank that was you. fun. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you. No, honey, thank you. And so a lot of you guys, you'll find, you know, isn't it? I mean, sometimes if you got a daunting control freak mother, that's enough, right? That's a that's like wears you out. And but can you imagine becoming that? Right. And then if you've got kids, the beat goes on and give it to your kids. Ah. Oh. Right. And I've noticed that's kind of how it works. And so, so you guys, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. First of all, if you got kids, you don't want to do it to your kids and you want to just really be aware of this and clear yourself, make sure you clear all of the, the, the mama trauma demons off of you. So you don't become your mother. Anyway, there we go. And so that, that happens. Let me talk to Sophia McKinnon. Oh, I had her <laughs> on my list already. So let me ah. Yep, I got her. Hi, Sophia. I love her. I love how are you too. guys. Hey, how, how are, are you? you guys? Oh, how are I you? Saw, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to talk to you. I saw you. I saw you thinking when we were going through that call. What were you thinking? <laughs> what were you thinking was, about? What was I thinking? Um, yeah. I was just thinking uh, that, you know, my mom passed yesterday, but a couple months ago, after your retreat, oh, yeah. the, that retreat, that um, I was able to release and forgive myself and the situation and her, and it changed everything. So she was oh. able to pass comfortably yesterday. Oh, wonderful. So, I'm so sorry your mom passed, but at the same time, um, it, it was time, I hear. It, I mean, I, okay. I, hear, I hear it was time. And so... And so, and I know she had uh, Alzheimer's or a, a version. And, Dementia, and, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, but you, you, um, you know, I, I see her in heaven and I see her, uh, her heart is big. Uh, and she says that she's sorry. Uh, she's, she's saying, she just, and she starts to weep and, and, and say, she's really, really sorry. And she really appreciates everything you've done for her. And she understands how selfless you are. And she wants you to know uh, that she knows in her heaven, she sees everything clear now and she realizes everything now. And she says, be kind and be nice as you always were to her in spite of her. Uh, She says, uh, be kind to that old man. And so and she said, and she said from heaven, she says, I really love him. And so, and she says, she really loves you, your brother, your son. She starts going through family members. Um, and she said she could not be so happy that she would have this moment to tell you this. And she's telling me to tell you, please hug that old man for me. And she's explaining that when he gets to heaven, she'll be the young, good looking one. Okay. <laughs> so so she, she's indicating you don't stay old in heaven. And so, so, 
So she 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 says thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she said, thank that old man of yours. She calls everybody old man, old men, you know, but they're yeah. old compared. <laughs> they're old, they're old compared to her. Now <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I knew I just had to talk to you. And so and and uh, but but I wasn't aware your mom passed yesterday, but she's she's now the good part of her, not the demon possessed part of her. When people Gary, go into you. oh, you're welcome, honey. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's all good. It's all good. When people go into dementias and stuff, they're they're Alzheimer's. They they what happens is their spirit, their true spirit leaves their body, leaving their body a husk for yeah, you know, everything in the world that can jump in there, you know. Some so, but she's she's happy now. She's in heaven. She's very happy. Uh she's with her mother, actually. And so her mother in heaven anyway is very sweet. And so, and so I, <laughs> did you know did you know her mother? Yeah. She wasn't well, sweet here. She's sweet up there. Isn't that crazy? That's that nice. People, the pre- people lose that crazy edge, right? But she's in 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 heaven, her she's with her mother. Uh she says she's healed, I'm healed, and she's hoping that you're healed. I'm oh. I'm healed and I got to thank God because he gave her her clarity of mind for the week and a half that she, or the week and two days that she was in the hospice home. She was wow. clear minded. She was able to say everything. We were able to say everything. I mean, I'm so grateful for him because he wow. made it possible. So well, he loves you. He he put a. You notice how hot your head felt right then, you know. Yes. He kissed his hand and went bam on your head. <laughs> I see God doing that. Look how hot you got. Really hot. Feel that? <laughs> really hot. There we go. All right. Well, I love you, darling. If you need us, you call us. Okay. I love you too, Bean. And you we'll guys, see you at the uh, retreat. We'll see you at the retreat. Yes. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling on me. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I just listen to angels. I listen to angels. I hear the, you know, they they just, you know, they call me out. Angels tell me, you know, they say I hear dumbass, and then I realize they're talking to me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I feel so much healing. Oh, I feel all this healing going into you. It's beautiful. So good luck. Can't wait to see you, Sophia. I love Thank you. you. Yeah. Beautiful. I love you guys. Love you. Guys. Love you. Love you. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. There we are. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that, that was crazy, right? It's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think that from the other side, it's, it's kind of neat to know, no matter how much many problems we had with different family members, when they get to the other side, they really wake up. They really, you know, see, because they die <clears throat> and then they go to heaven and their demons stay here. Their demons don't go. That's what happens. Their demons don't go to heaven you don't you know when i when i'm looking up into heavens and reading you know people and seeing everything and seeing god in heaven all the angels you know i don't see a bunch of demons walking around the streets of heaven they don't go there they can't get there from here you see and so that's what we got to do to the planet earth we got to clear all the dark energies and the demons where there's no demons here and if there's no demons here it's a lot easier to live here and it's a lot better, better place to live. So we can't get too pissed off with people because people that are, are, as we call bad people, they're just demon possessed. And if they didn't have the demons, they wouldn't be crazy and they wouldn't be angry and they wouldn't be nutty and they wouldn't be driving us nuts and driving themselves nuts. And so we can't be too pissed off with people because then we become them. We become the demon. We become the dark energy. We become the uh, the same thing. We, we can't be that. So you got to get above it. Clear the demons. That's what your spiritual gifts are for. Ask God for your spiritual gift. Ask God for the spiritual gift of Michael right now. And you'll get a big old sword that you guys can clear stuff today with. Clear your demons. Clear your dark energies. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's really going to help you. Who are we talking to, Michelle? Oh, go. sorry. Thank you, Gary. Can I put Rick F on? I think this is one of his first times. Hi, Rick. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Please unmute yourself. I'm doing well. How you do? Uh, I need. Hey, Hi, I'm doing well. How are you doing? 
Oh, great, great. Hey, Rick, how are you? You know, I saw you. I saw you in the very beginning. I wanted to talk to you, so I'm really glad, Michelle. You're reading my mind again. Of course, <laughs> I'm psychic. You it's, know? it's funny. It was actually at like 5:59 out here. I'm in Utah, and like uh, I'm talking to Crystal, and then an angel made a joke of what your Gmail is, and it rewrote it as J Mizzle as the spelling incorrect and somehow that was like you know you need to you need to go on tapping in today like it was like oh. that wow well i'm glad i'm really glad i'm <laughs> glad jay mizzle you know what's really crazy earlier i heard that earlier jay i heard mizzle? that i did i heard that <laughs> earlier and 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 so it was really funny because jv who is a, a big radio host that was in <clears throat> san francisco who passed away was one of my best friends in the world and he passed away. Um, life got too rough, and and you know I'm that was sorry. that that was that. It's okay, and and so because I talked to him in heaven all the time, uh, and and helped him get there. And and but it was it was like really weird. I heard Jay Mizzle earlier today, and I, I and I thought it was JV because he would make jokes uh, on on the radio and and speak and, and say things like that, right? And I and I heard that today. So anyway, for some reason that hooked up with you, and so because I I really did hear that today, and and so I'm like, JV, you're around. What's up? You know, whatever. But it's actually it was it was your your thing. So anyway, so I'm glad I'm talking to you. So what's your question? What's going on? What's going on? Well, I, I mean, like the the question that came to mind before I I said anything was um, something came up in terms of like how does one trust himself? Like, I'm trying to, for some reason, like, there's something I'm missing there. Okay, let me I, help you. I don't you. know what it is. Okay. You, that's a, first of all, that's the most beautiful question anybody's asked me in a long time. Okay? How, hmm. how do you trust yourself? Okay, I'm going to, can I be brutally honest with everything I read? Ab absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Were you ever an addict? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I see the addictive dimension. Um still around okay and so and and so at one time it was bad and now it's not does that make more sense to you absolutely okay but if it's ever around you never trust yourself okay true okay let me get rid of that is that okay please okay please. i and understand prior to about a couple of months ago i did not have this gift I could not clear this addict dimension. God gave me the gift to clear it, okay? So this is how come you can't trust yourself. Makes sense to you, right? It makes sense all of a sudden, yeah. Like, uh, I have a gift for making a detox not painful for an other addicts. Like, I can right? stop it. But like I didn't like I don't like to go anywhere near that because I'm like, uh oh, what's going on? Like I start getting frightened, like Yeah. I well this because, well you're getting frightened because this dimension is so big. Okay. I'm gonna clear you of your your addictive dimension. Okay? Please. All right. All right. Now when I'm looking at you, I see one um a dark demon inside of you and I'm pulling him out of you. I just pulled him out. How does that feel? feels uh, makes me want to tear up okay because you got healed okay anytime you tear up you can't heal without a tear you see and so that's what that is and i pulled him out of you your lower back feels really good now you see and you notice your body's healing in any place where it wasn't healing before um your sinuses open slightly your feet are getting pretty warm you see your legs are lighter uh, i see all this light going into your body because i pulled this demon out that was an addictive demon uh you have um a blob above your head that has tentacles these tentacles go into your body and it looks like black tree roots really i'm just telling you what it looks like i just cleared it uh and you have five more around your body and i cleared all of them and there we go and now then take a deep breath Your feet are hot, right? Can you feel that? Um, kind of. My feet have been kind of funny. It's hard for me to feel them, actually, now that you mention it. Okay. How about now? Better. Better. Okay. You had a block that wasn't allowing you to feel them. 
Mm. Now, you, now, how about now? Yeah, now I can feel warmth going through them. It was just a moment ago. I'm like, that actually, that's interesting. I don't feel my feet. My but ears now are you blank. Can't. But yeah, now you absolutely. Can't. Now you're grounded. You didn't. Hit, you had no grounding energy at all. And so that throws you off your kilter. You see, so the demons have a lot of tricks. And so we just have to figure them out as we go. Right. And so, so, yeah, so there we go. Okay. Now then I'm going up into the cosmos, which is like above the Milky Way galaxy. And, and I was looking at all these, and they're telling me to back away quick. That's what I heard. My angel screamed back away quick. So I backed away and I'm looking down at it now and I'm killing six, 16. I'm not demons. These I'm not demons are the worst demons and they make you feel who you're not instead of who you are. And I just burned all of them up, right? I got rid of all of those and I cleared these. You have six blobs up there with tentacles and demons and crazy stuff. Uh, and I just cleared all of those six. One of those blobs alone would be about 700,000 times bigger than earth. Wow. Right? And so, and there we go. And so and now I, that's the I'm not demon. That's what an I'm not, uh, an I'm not demon looks like. It's a black cloaked figure. And so you had 16 of them, which is loaded. And now you don't have them. And now you don't have those blobs that are hundreds of thousands of times, millions of times bigger than Earth. Okay. Those things look flammable. <laughs> right? They do, right? Yeah. Well, they caught on fire. I got rid of them. There you go. Good. Right. Absolutely. Now look at how, and now then I want you to ask for, uh, you're going to, here's the thing. You guys put yourself back together. Listen to what's going on with this guy. And you guys do some of the same thing. And you'll find if you have any addictive energies ever, or if you have any kind of really dark stuff going on, it'll go away. Imagine yourself uh, in a big pearly ball of light. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I see an orb coming down, a big pearly ball of light. And I want you to ask God for a big white spirit. God, give me a big white God spirit, please. God, give me a great big, uh, God, give me a big white spirit now, please. Thank you. Okay. And this is a divine spirit. It rolled into your body. Say you feel it warm. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Ask God for a, a big, giant, divine Zion, a big, giant, Divine Zion, say that a big giant God, divine. Can I have a big, a uh, big Zion divine spirit and spirit. Uh, golden, golden, G golden, please and thank you. And there it goes, and it rolled into you. Now I'll ask God for a blue one. Say, God, give me a blue one, please. Can I also get a blue one, please? There it goes. Now I ask God for a green one. Also a green one, please. There you go. Okay. <sighs> now then, a red one. Can I also have red, please? There you go. Okay, perfect. Now then. Now your feet are warm. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. are. They're like on fire, right? Feel all that? Yeah. See, yeah. See, now you got all your light in your body, and you're one. <clears throat> now you want to ask for a God spirit. Now, can I please have a God spirit now? Thank you. Can I please? Can I, can I please have your spirit, God? Oh, oh, I never thought to ask it. God, can I please have your spirit now? Thank you, please. Okay, there it went into your body. How does that feel? Like a nice, sweet breath of air. There you go. Now then, who do you believe in? God. And who else? Me. There you go. There Thank you, go. you. Yeah, now you'll believe in you. You'll never doubt you again. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Hey, I, I appreciate I appreciate that uh, because everybody that I work on and heal, I get healed too. And so I healed you. I got healed. That's that's beautiful. And so everybody that you work on and heal, you heal people. Is that what you do? What do you do? That's what I do. You heal people. <laughs> that, yeah, that's all I do all day long. Who do you heal? Whoever calls me. Like oh, okay. I handed out my number two years ago and I had six clients and now I have like 200. Like people I... just call me. Because you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been doing it for a long time. I learned from uh, a, a doctor that saved me when I was 17. 
Well, you're you're pretty amazing, is what I see. I, Thank I just, you. You know, I it, it, I always hear I'm pretty amazing. I never hear I do a good job, but I hear I'm pretty amazing, <laughs> right? And so I don't know how I get to that good job spot, but anyway, maybe I'll get there someday. But but I I, I but I'm seeing you're pretty amazing, and so anyway, Thank make you. sure we make sure we have your number, okay? Because I want to stay in touch and see how you do now. All right. M Michelle has my number. I got oh, you, good. Rick. I got you, okay. Gary. Yeah. You got to come to it. You got to come. You got to. friend. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You got to come to a retreat. You I'd really love to. Do. There's one coming right. up in October. Yeah. October. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I'll ask God. Okay. We'll you talk. You got to come. It'll change. It'll change your life just like this moment did. And so, because see, healers can do, healers can see what's wrong. You know how you can talk to people and you can see what's wrong. I can see you're a healer. And so you can just see it. It's really simple. You go, here it is. Uh, do this. Right. And, and so, so that's the same thing I do. So, so, but you, you naturally are a healer. The only thing, the only piece you were missing is trusting yourself. So now you trust yourself. So you're going to be all right. So there we go. Yeah, come to the spiritual retreat, you guys. The, the spiritual retreats are fun because they're made up of people like this fella here. And so, Rick, and so uh, October 12th through the 15th. And you guys check it out. Call Michelle and, and uh, book the retreat because this one will sell out. 702-822-0548. 702-822-0548. Michelle at GarySpivey.com or 800-827-GARY. Call the office. Support at GarySpivey.com. There we go. Cool. That's fun. That was fun. Yeah. How cool is that? You feeling good? Feel great. Thank you. Thank you. I well, feel a release that I just never knew I needed or I don't know how to put it into words yet. It was it's always been there and it's just become normal. And with it gone, it's nice, but also um like like I didn't know there was a problem in that spot, you know? Like, but, but, see, see, well, see, we, we always, God's universe is always expanding. And as God's universe, universe expands, so do our spiritual gifts. And so, and they'll make their way to you if you need them. And so that's what just happened. So good luck, buddy. This is exciting. I can't wait to see who you are. <laughs> there Thank, we Thank you, Rick. God bless you. Hey, hey we'll, we'll good be luck. in touch, okay? <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Sounds great. All right. All right. Good Bye. luck. That, that was, was cool. Great. Yeah, that was, really yeah. that was cool. Good job. That was really yeah, that was beautiful. Yay. So, cool. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. I've got Carla Cupras. Carla. All right. Hi. How are you? Thanks for being so patient. Hey, Carla. Hey, hey how's it going? Really how's good. What's your question? I just talked to you the other day. How's you? How you doing? What's your question? I uh, my my question question is um, I'm having a lot of pressure in my head and like over my eyes and um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's stress, medical or something. And I'm, I think my eyes are even blurred. Um, and I noticed that, you know, real bad today. Um, and then I'm noticing for a long time, I'm having a hard time choosing words. So I don't know if it's a, um, have, like you got a, have you checked your blood pressure? Yeah, I went to the doctor at the beginning of the week, and it was uh, a lot better than I thought. I thought yeah. it was going to be a lot higher. Um, so I'm having a hard time finding words, you know, basic, whether they're medical, legal, or just regular words. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it's stress. I don't know if it's... I, here's, what, here's what I think. I think it has to do with blood pressure. Um, and if they changed your blood pressure medication, right? I think it has to do with adjusting to the blood pressure medication. I, I would say dance with that doctor really close, you know, really close in. Um, and if you can dance with that doctor really, really close in, uh, it feels like to me that they, they'll sort through it. But that's what I see is going on with you. And so, and that's, that's what I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I called in uh, today to try to get an appointment for the beginning of the week, but it's a holiday. So um, there's a few doctors that we're going to be going to in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. So because we're both having some medical issues. Good. Well, I'm just clearing the energy behind what it is, but I'm letting you know that it's a, a, a medication you changed. Okay. 
And I'm not saying it's a bad medication, but it's just you adjusting. Okay. And so, but I'm just clearing that off you. And so there we go. Uh, I'm clearing your energy, but you should dance with this doctor very close in for the next couple of weeks. Okay. Okay. So, good luck, honey. Good luck. I cleared the darkness that I saw, but you still got to deal with that, the physical part and the medication. And okay. So, all right. Okay. There we go. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Cool. Hey, Michelle, who are we talking to? Yes, thank you, Gary. Okay, I've got Lisa Berger and her new friend, Virginia. Oh, oh, you, oh cool, cool, cool. You know, hey, Dean, I'm having this. I've got to switch internets. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. No worries. All right, well, All right uh, bear with us for a second. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Virginia, right? Yeah, it's going to probably take, yes. Gary, a minute. Probably take Gary a minute to switch out. He's going to switch out the uh, Ethernet cord real quick. Yeah. We love you guys. Oh, oh we thank love you. you too. We love you too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How's it going in Vegas? We're 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 not there right now, but <laughs> what's it two going? inches of rain yesterday. Yay! We so. needed that. <laughs> we needed a, a little rain. bit of flooding, um, a little flooding, um, but it's very very nice. Um, we need it. Oh, good. So good. Virginia, you know, has been a friend of mine for a long time, and she's been very curious about Gary. And just a little doubtful, if you would. She doesn't know how to proceed without accompaniment. So I'm so grateful you led us on tonight. And Gary has always been in love with Virginia. He's, he's felt her energy around me um, and her beautiful children. Um, so I'm grateful. Thank you. Oh, well, we're so happy that you brought her on with us. So thank you for guiding her on here. We appreciate your time and everything. You're so amazing, Lisa. Oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just be, I be, some people like it, some people don't like it. Oh, <laughs> well, we love you. Oh, that's awesome. So how so there with you? Hmm? Louisiana is good. You guys, um, Dean's family's okay. Yep, everybody's yeah. good. I mean, it's a little hot okay. here, but you know that's just Louisiana in the summertime. It's hot and humid. Yeah. And Michelle don't like it because there's mosquitoes and <laughs> other bugs. So other than that, everything's Who good. Likes um, my mom was doing great. Everybody's good. <laughs> yes. You know, um, we forget in Vegas. I mean, I'd move back east in a heartbeat, except for the critters. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Michelle's pretty much like, oh, yeah, we could live somewhere else, but not Louisiana. There's too many bugs. <laughs> well, like, just the other day, honey, you should tell him. Okay, everybody, I'll okay, tell you the story. He got to tell you the story. I was going to wait till Gary got here, but he's not here, so I'll tell the story. Okay. <laughs> so the other day, I'm in my mom's backyard. She's like, you know, I have these little, she got some flowers by the back. She's got a fence in the backyard. She goes, I got these flowers there. I don't think I want them there anymore. I just want to pull them up. And I said, oh, I could do this for you. I grew up working on plantations in Louisiana doing gardening. So I'm like, mom, I could do that for you in 10 minutes. I You're said, really good. You I, do said gardening just, too. I said, just give me 10 minutes. I'll get it for you. So in Louisiana, you got to always kind of like shake the, the bushes a little bit before you like go cut them because there's wasp nest in the um, oh, huge. So I don't think about oh it. God. And I'm like, oh, I got this. No big deal. So <laughs> I go out there, hands. Michelle and right. my mom's in the backyard looking at me I'm like, give me a minute. <laughs> I go down there and I pull, I pull one set of the flowers up, throw it off to the side, grab the next one. As I grab it, there's a wasp nest. Wasp flying everywhere. <laughs> stings me in the neck right on my jaw. It was so funny. Michelle sees me running through the backyard. I'm just like, going, no, I'm God. like, Damn it, damn it. She goes, what I said, it's stung in my whole neck swole. I said, let me see, let me see. He goes like this, and literally it looked like a frog. I was like, oh my God. I was like, thank God I have this cream because I get bit by mosquitoes. So it's an antihistamine steroid. I was like, let me put this on you. And he's like, no, no, he's running around like, come here. So that's Louisiana. So it was so funny. Oh my god. It was yeah, it was funny to my mom and Michelle in the moment, not right. to me. But then after I laughed my ass off because I'm like, I'm like, Michelle's Michelle sees me running around. I was like, honey, you better watch out. She goes lost. run back, she goes run back inside. <laughs> She's like, yep, and he's like, I'm oh. never going outside again. 
<laughs> so needless to say, yeah. he got bit. So that was <laughs> right it, there so. on his neck. <laughs> yeah. So that was my getting stung by a wasp story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back, Gary. Hi, right, Dean. Hey. Dean, hey. I grew up in Virginia, man. Take a machete, if anything, before you go to pull it. Oh, oh my God. I, I had a cane knife. I don't know if you know what a cane. It looks like a machete. <laughs> so yeah, you're telling machete. you're telling everybody about your wasp experience. Yes, yes I told yes. my wasp story. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. you know. Dean's a, terrib- Dean's a terrible Dean's Dean's a terrible patient. He's not a good patient. Not you know. at all. Oh, this hurt. <laughs> this. Yeah. Getting stung by a bee is nothing. Getting stung by a wasp in the face, that hurts. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, I told Gary the other, I told Gary the other day, I said, if you ever want to live exactly in the moment, get stung in the face by a wasp. <laughs> There is no future. <laughs> there is no past. You're in the moment, right then and there. You are feeling the pain. You're- I, I feel more sorry for Michelle. I feel more sorry Thank for you. Michelle than you. <laughs> Thank you Gary. She had to endure you going ah. You know, <laughs> oh my gosh! She had to endure me jumping up and down like a kid. It took me a while <laughs> to get the cream on them too. <laughs> wham, wham. You know, I can imagine. Anyway, yeah, well, there we go. Sorry, everybody. Like, can you can you see me? I know what's yep. it. You're back. Yes, we see you. Uh, yeah, we can see you. The, I couldn't see you Hi, guys. Now, now I can see you guys. Hey, girl, what up? How are you? What's happening with you I'm, this week? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, and many times when you read me, you ask me about who are the children around me. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is their mother, Virginia Tregazzi, oh, nice. part of my oh. Greek coalition. Oh. Nice. And um, she, she's she been very interested, but has been hesitant to move forward spiritually, though you love her, you've always said she's the mom, no drama, right. no denial, no any of that. So she's here with me tonight just to get to know you. And hopefully Good. you can just tap into her and give her some love. Yeah. All right. Well, I love her already. So 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 basically ask me a question about anything you really want to know about. What do you want to know? What's what's up? What's up in your yeah. world? What do you want? Well, yeah. I well, I got Growing up Catholic, I have the whole Catholic guilt thing. And oh, I- you're already going to go to hell. You're on a psychic show. So, I mean, there we are. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I've done a lot of research and I've dabbled in a lot of other things. And my views on religion are a lot different than the way I was raised and a lot different than probably most people, I guess. I'm, I'm very open-minded, but mm-hmm. I'm also very blocked. I just, I, I have a problem kind of want connecting with any other i don't know i just I just something have you you have a problem connecting with things spiritual okay i can t- i can see where your block is but let me let me address the catholic thing real quick okay i happen you know i love religion believe it or not i really do i i love religion because you know what they didn't hang around for that long and not learn something right um the catholic religion is a very interesting religion uh, they recognize spiritually gifted people. And back in the day, you could either get burned at the stake or you could uh, join the church and become a saint. Okay, let me think about that. Okay, I think I'll become a saint, right? And so <laughs> so the Catholic Church was really good at running around Europe and figuring out people who were spiritually gifted and could do miracles. And then they somehow worked their way up into the church and they became really special people, you know, and, and I'm, I'm really good friends with like a lot of saints. I mean, I'm buddies. Um, I've been to places all over the world. Dean and I have traveled everywhere and, and Michelle and, and, and we, we ran around all over the world. Um, and I would go to churches that have certain relics of certain saints and, and things And I, one of my favorite places to go is, is in the big cathedrals of Europe, including the Vatican, um, and where they have all the relics. And so, uh, relics, uh, are what relics are a bone of a saint, Relics are a piece of material from the robe of a of whatever of, of one of these people. And and you can tap into the energy by tapping into the 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 relic. Uh this is St. Anthony's Chapel. This see all those little bitty things with the those are called reliquaries. And in the middle of those little things are are a bone of a saint, a piece of material from the saint's robe, cloth. Uh, or or it could be a first class relic, second. I think it goes to I don't I'm not sure. I think it goes to third class relic, and 
anyway, those relics, that's in St. Anthony's Chapel. For you, all you guys that are, who are Catholics, you are going to go to hell if you don't go to St. Anthony's Chapel. It's, it's called Troy Hill Chapel, in, and it's St. Anthony's Chapel uh, in Pittsburgh. Believe it or not, Pittsburgh. And it has uh, more first-class relics than anywhere in the world except the Vatican. So it's number two in the world. And so here we are. That's what it looks like. And I went there to do a show um, some probably 20-some years ago. And and I, I, I did a big radio show there, but I'd never been there in person. I finally went there in person. I didn't know if I'd have 10 people that would come to the show to see me. And actually, we had 1,200 people to come to see me and it was great because i had i got there and there was this other psychic that drug me and dean to that that chapel um and and so um so i i am like very much into the catholic religion because um i ended up getting a gift there that was one of the most precious gifts that i give out in the energy clearing that i just did last wednesday and it was the gift of this right and it was the gift of the cross and and the cross looked just just like this and i got it from saint anthony's chapel and so right and so so it was just amazing and this this uh, this gift of a cross and if you guys you get this gift here i'm giving it to you now all you guys that want the gift of the cross imagine this cross coming down bring it down into your head to your heart and then put it in your hand okay now here's what you do the demon, the I'm not demon, all you do is you throw it into his head. And when you do, he catches on fire, he burns up, and he's in incredible pain forever. <laughs> right. So there we go. And don't mess. With, and so that basically teaches the demons don't mess with me. Right. So from St. Anthony's Chapel, which is a Catholic play, a Catholic chapel, um, and it was it was brought over by Father Mullinger, who died in 1892, but he was a very rich um, Danish priest. No, not Danish. Excuse me. He was from Denmark. And so priest. And he came from a very wealthy family and he bought up all the relics in Europe when Europe was in upheaval, upheaval in the 1800s. And he brought them to St. Anthony's Chapel, built this beautiful place and put them in it. And so for safekeeping. And so and they are. But I got this gift, and you imagine this gift in your hands, and you can throw it into a demon's head, and they will respect you from then on because they realize, damn, because this is the most painful thing. It's the gift of the cross. It's the gift of Christ. It's the gift of the cross. And so and so that was a very, very powerful gift. And, and it really, and it'll also, you know, when I first got the gift, I knocked people out. I would like project light to them and they'd fall out. They'd, they'd pass over. out. Remember that, Dino? You know, <laughs> that was kind of yes, crazy. I'm sorry. I was muted. Yes, I was answering you, but I was muted. Yeah, I totally yeah. remember you knocking people out of the chairs. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was like, you know, I, I was kind of getting a kick out of it, to be honest with you, right? Heal and they'd fall out, you know. And so, but it would, but uh, the <laughs> first lady so I did that people, was people a reading. <laughs> Yeah, and so, but but that was that was uh, you know some just a side effect of kind of what happened with that gift. But they had me give uh, this gift out in the in and for you guys who are not in the online club, get in the online club, and you'll get these kind of crazy gifts uh, when when God tells me to give them out and to people. And and I, I did this on Wednesday, and you can go back in the archives of the energy clearing and see the whole thing. Um, and, uh, and, uh, on the online club, but this is, but it's really, this particular gift will make demons really respect you because what happens is this gift of the cross goes inside of them. And it's in, it's the most, it's the only thing I've ever seen that makes a demon feel pain, but they feel all this pain and, and they freak out. And so, and, uh, and they leave you alone and they <laughs> actually leave everybody alone that, you know, they don't want to be around it. And so, so there's a lot of, a lot of things to the Catholic religion. So understand, um, there's not really, I, when I ask God, I go, God, do I listen to Buddha? Do I listen to Christ? Do I listen to the Hindu gods? I mean, who do I listen to? Who do I listen to? God told me, don't turn down any help from anybody. That's what I heard. I heard, don't turn down any help from anybody. So if you've got a big being that's giving you some help, and giving you some light and giving you some spiritual gifts. The biggest words you words you can use is thank you. 
And so, and so that's, you know, yeah. And so, and when you have so much theory in your head, you have to be very careful of all the theory you have in your head because theory will just confuse you. And so, and so that's kind of what you've got going. And so you kind of, you kind of got, you know, confusion because of all your theory in your head. But the biggest problem is, is I'll go to your mother. Okay. And so where's your mom? My mom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she lives here in Las Vegas. Okay. But she grew up very Catholic. I grew up, I, I didn't like the Catholic church growing up and I kind of, um, I didn't go to the uh, confirmation classes. I, I you're going to asked, hell. You keep on going to hell over and over. I'm playing with you. From it because I just I didn't like all the I didn't like the traditions. I didn't like I, I just didn't. Here's what it. I see. Your From only problem. Yeah, you know, but you're, here's what I see. The only problem with all of your spirituality is your mother. That's it, because you felt like you were always doing something wrong when you were doing something you felt like doing, and so. But your problem is your mother. Your problem is not you. Your problem is your mother. The problem's in you, but it's your mother. And there we are again, a control freak mother um, that, you know, she loves you, but that's really what messed you up with your whole thing with being spiritual uh, and the reason you can't feel. I can get rid of it if you want me to. We had another person earlier. You want me to get rid of that? Yes. yes. Get rid of the Catholic guilt. Because even though I don't. No, it's I not the Catholic guilt. No, 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 no. Stop it's thinking. It's stop thinking. Stop. Stop. Catholic. Stop. Yeah, and stop. we love Good her Lord. mother. I love yeah. my mother. I love her mother. She's not but, yeah. Totally yeah, she's, she's well, I'm sure. Religious. And I, yeah, and I, that's nice. And I love her too. That but she messed it. you up. That but you, but the way that you worked with out, worked it out with her messed you up. And so I can fix it if you want me to. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so, all right. Say your mother's name. Lorraine. What is it? Lorraine. 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 Okay, that's my aunt's name. And so here we go. I'm, I'm going to clear your mom and, and, and clear you. And then I'm getting rid of all these hybrid mother demons. They, every time she tried to control you and go, no, do this, do this, do it this way, do it that way. This is the way. That's theory. The demons will beat you and everybody in the world to death with theory. You guys got to drop your theory, figure out your reality, and don't worry about the theory because the theory will beat you to death because the demons will just see you coming. And so there we go. And so I'm just clearing off this, this little theory thing. I'm clearing off the control things, and I'm clearing off 1,100 and I'm, cl I'm clearing off 1,142 mama demons, okay, that possess you. And that's what's got you all crazy with spirituality to where you can't just be cool and let's let it flow. So you're just wanting to let it flow so you can feel it, see it like, you know, like Lisa does. Lisa can see and feel and hear everything. Right. And so, so you want that, that you'd love that. Right. Okay. I well, would here, love I'm gonna, to be able to do that. And I just, I'll do I it right it. now. Hey, 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 yeah, stop. Can. stop. Shut up. Stop. Listen. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop with your theory. Stop. Okay, can you stop for one minute, right? Just stop for one minute, all right, if you want to. And so if you would like to, I'm not trying to control you. I'm just saying <laughs> that if you really want this fixed, I can fix it. Okay, you want me to fix it? Back to that. Okay. All right. And so here we go. Okay, there we are. And I'm clearing off your mama trauma demons. Uh, I'm down to about 600. Now I'm down to about 300. Now I'm down to about 100. Notice how your sinus is open now. So, you know, your feet got light. You're getting warm all over. There we go. Now I'm down to about 40 of them. Now I'm down to about 10 of them. Uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. How quiet's your head? I don't know. <laughs> She's how never heard your head? a quiet head. So she has no clue. How quiet, yeah, quiet your head now? Now you can answer this. Come on. You're the you're 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 the analytical crazy person. So here we are. So how quiet's your head? I don't know. What do you hear? You hear nothing. <laughs> yeah. I hear your head quiet. I'm a total empath. So I, yeah. You don't feel you anything. <laughs> you hear nothing. You hear nothing. You're, you don't. You see now. Here's what you're dealing with now. You're dealing with breaking the habit of your mother. I got rid of the energy of your mother. Now you have to mess around and break the habit of your mother if you'd like or if you would like to be crazy noisy head 
can't hear what you want to hear, can't see what you want to see, can't be who you want to be, which would be your true I am. The only place you're going to be okay and the only place that anybody's going to be okay on the planet Earth is to be their true I am, who you are. I'm not trying to change who you are. I'm trying to tell you just be who you are. Be who you are. That's all you got to do. Okay. So now then your head is quiet. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But see, but yeah, no, it's not a question mark. It's a yeah. So, (laughs) and my point is stop playing games with your own head. Stop being your mother. You're not her. You're you. What's your name? Virginia. Virginia, what's up? Virginia. (laughs) See, so Virginia, you're you. You're you. You're not your mother. You're you. Be you. And here's what you get. Say, I am Virginia. I am Virginia. I'm glad you are. (laughs) I'm really glad you are. And you are. Be who you are. That's all you got to do. Many times the reason we're not who we are is because we're being so many other people that we're possessed by. And you were possessed by your mother. I'm sure your mother's a wonderful person. I'm sure you love her. I'm not telling you not to. You know, but I'm telling you, you don't want to be her. You want to be her or you? You want to be Virginia. You see? So now you're Virginia. In spite of her and you, you are now you. So now you got to blame it on somebody else. So you'll be <laughs> a, so you'll be able to be you in this movie. And so, and that's all you want to do is be you. And you're going to freak out at how spiritually gifted you truly are. I see all oh, kinds yeah. of stuff. You know that, oh, yeah. see, right, Lisa? Oh, yeah. Right, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. And so you're super spiritually gifted and you can't quite reach it because of what I just fixed. And that's all you got to do. And you know, not only is that what you got to do, I got to do it. And everybody else has to do the same thing. Be who you are. Say, I am, I am, I am. I am. That's all you got to do. Be your I am. And and go back to the Bible if you want to, because if it makes you feel warm and fuzzy and the burning bush, who shall I say sent me, says Moses. Tell them I am sent you. You see, so I am has been around for a long time. Right. And even quoted in the Bible. And so, but you in the Old Testament. And so, but you, you really are uh, an amazing spiritual person. And you have tons of angels that are now showing up. You know why? Because you're on the vibration of your truth. You're Virginia. You're not your mother. And so you're showing up in the, in the vibration of truth. And all these angels are now showing up. I'm, I'm seeing them go around you in a, in, a, in a formation. It's really interesting in the dome like formation. <clears throat> and I'm seeing, All of these angels show up in your world and so in your head. See, I feel your face warm. Your hands are warm. They're tingly. See, you can feel all that, right? Yeah. There you are. (laughs) You're there. You're there. You're stubborn like your mother is. But you're not. (laughs) Good Lord. Damn. Make me work, will you? And so, (laughs) so, but you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. That's what it looks like around you now. You look like that. You got angels all around you, honey. You're going to be fine. And and just let me repeat after me. I I will will two things. Shut the hell up <laughs> and, not, and not overthink. <laughs> I have to say that out loud. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, you'll go to hell. Think. And not that's overthink. The, okay, not there we. That's, that's be, one of the things I definitely. I've never heard her quiet. Her brain this quiet. I've never heard it. And <laughs> yeah, Gary, you can feel it. I got to go to St. Anthony's. Oh, Chapel you went. Oh, yeah. Last week. Oh, you uh, went to St. Anthony's Chapel. Oh, it's so appropriate that we start talking about it. Well, I didn't know this, but I'm talking about it. You know, and we're we're putting that up. Judy threw that up. So so we're all one. The fact that we even knew that. Is is that an amazing? It is. We we are. I am. We are one. Um, St. Anthony's Chapel, Troy Hill. St. Anthony's Chapel in Pittsburgh, guys. You guys got to go. It's really, really incredible uh, because you have all these relics of all these saints. And if you go walking around in there and meditate for a while, you'll get all these spiritual gifts. 
There you go. Learn your Catholic religion. That's the biggest piece of it, is you can get these gifts from all of these relics that exist in every amazing uh, cathedral in, in, the, in the world. You know, um, many times, well, St. Anthony's Chapel has more, more uh, first-class relics than even the big cathedrals. Oh, I think that's the thing. That may be the Eucharist. I think that's the thing, Dean, that, that we got zapped by. That could be it. I think it is. I was holding that thing and pointing it at Dean and zapping him, and he was getting almost knocked out. Remember that, Dino? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it does. You, you can definitely feel the energy and the heat from it. That really looks like it, Gary. That could be. I it. think that's it. I didn't have a picture of that. So, wow, that's really cool. That's a cool one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And and I, I remember Sister Margaret said, "Oh, the Eucharist." Remember? And so, that's amazing. Yeah, that's it. That's a yeah, thing. There's a there's a piece of the cross that Jesus was on in the middle. Yeah, and then it has the it and it has eleven uh, relics all the way around. Those little white dots that you guys are seeing is a little is a is a bone, uh, a first class relic of all the top eleven, which is makes sense. One one, we're all one uh, healing saints. And so, but that thing is powerful. And so this cross that I gave you uh, came from that. How cool is that, that we figured that out anyway, but the cross, the, the gift of the cross, right. I got from there because, uh, and it, it came from that, that relic, that particular thing It's a reliquary, you know? So, yeah. Harry, uh, I just want to say like, I love her mother and, she, and I knew it was mother drama demons but she loves her mother so much she couldn't break through it and i say this for all of us women out there that her mother did unbelievable things to get virginia here and so it's really hard when your mother has gotten hardened and stiffened by life um, for virginia to recognize that that was mother demons so yeah. i'm just grateful to you Thank yeah, you. no, it's a you know, it's not like your mom's a bad guy. No, there, there's demons that make everybody bad guys. <laughs> they don't mean to be. It was it was like Sophia earlier. Her mother died yesterday, right? And so, and her mother was doing all kinds of crazy things. And so, but it didn't matter. It didn't mean she, she when she got to heaven, she's like, oh my god, what was I thinking? Duh, right? And so, so <laughs> what, what'd she say? What'd she say? That's how I feel like I'm going to be when I get to heaven, because I know when you when you're when you get to heaven, you just automatically just have this knowledge. Just You get it. And it just you you have the knowledge. And it's just right. when when I'm here, I, it's hard for me to discern what to believe. And yeah, well, here's like it's I'm really dead, I'm going to know. Well, it's <laughs> really it's, it's really simple. Yeah, well, here's what it is, honey. It's really simple. Just get spiritual gifts and kill the demons around you and clear the demons around you. Not only you, your mother, whoever else is around has got one um, or a or hundred of them. And so then you'll have the clarity here. You don't have to wait till you die to get some clarity. You know, I mean, if you want, I guess that's all right. But I mean, why live in misery here? So you clear your demons here, clear everybody else that you can possibly clear daily. And then you'll be able to have your beautiful clarity here. That's what I think. Have your heaven on earth. Have your heaven right here, guys. That's what you want to do. Have your heaven on earth. Oh, there's all the big beings. That's so cool. I love looking at that picture. That's a great picture. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Appreciate you guys. We love yeah. you. Bye. Good job, Lisa. Good thank job. You. Thank you. Oh, good that job, Lisa. Fun. That was fun. Thank you, Gary. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. Anyway, that's good. <laughs> I got all these people yeah. like, what about me? <laughs> and, and all you Catholics are going to hell. I mean, I think you are. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, don't feel guilty. Stop feeling guilt. Guilt is a derivative of some dark energy that a demon has got you thinking. So anyway, but yeah, don't don't be doing that. Uh, who are we talking to? Who are we talking Yay, to? Yay. Thank you, Gary. I hope it's okay because I have still just a few more people left. Um, Edgar Pina, real quick. Uh, hi, Edgar. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, there. Edgar Pina? I got it. Right you here. got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. We got to make it quick because we got a couple more people. Right. That's okay. <laughs> hi, Gary. Hey. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I think we're 
I'm so blessed to be here. Thank you so much. Um, I've been going through all the purification this month and uh, got a lot of transmissions from my master teacher and I got also some from you and the gift of the rainbow ball. And then yeah. I, was over, I was overwhelmed with so many things. And then I got the aha moment. Oh, good. Then, I love yeah. aha moments. I even call them that. That's funny. Yes. Right. And I realized that everything I wished for, everything I dreamt of as a child, I have already. And right. just thinking that all the tools, all the resources, every, the gifts from God and everything were given to me for a reason. And that is to help humanity, to serve, Fair to be a servant of God, and to yeah. help humanity. Yeah, and, and I, I see you. See, you're you're so one. You walk into a room and everybody gets it. I don't know if you've caught that about yourself, but actually, your presence when you show up at the party, so to speak, um, the the room changes. And and so always on me. <laughs> you do that. Yeah, you do that. No, I'm serious. I can see who you are. And and so it's kind of crazy when, you know, when you just show up, it brings a certain light in that that changes things in a good way. And so that's beautiful. And, you know, after, I guess, when you, when you, the first time I met you in July, the I am, and then a lot of people were telling me, you know what, uh, you've been doing too much for other people. You haven't been doing enough for yourself. So this mm -hmm. month of August, the month of August, I totally uh, gave up on sending blessings and healings for people that I normally do because I'm a Tao Hands practitioner with the Tao. I'm a Tao Guan Yin. I practice the Guan Yin and mantras and everything. So my master teachers and, and, and they're, they're telling me, no, uh, stop and do not do that anymore because when you do that for somebody with who has a dark energy. If you if you're don't have the authority above that dark energy, the dark energy will attack me. So I said, okay, I got it now. I, I call it so, I call it you can't give away more than you got. That's you know? right. And, that's and, right. And, so, and so sometimes it, it takes a minute. You know, I, I've been really, really lucky. I have beautiful people in my life that that I, you know, like uh, I, I usually, you know, from being on the road many years, I would end up at, at Alice and Richard's house, my family in Ojai, California. And uh these are my decided family, you know, who's, you know, when you have family that you have that are, that you're lucky enough to end up with. Um, and, and so I would go there and I would get, uh, healed up and they would say, you, you, you're working too hard. You got to slow down. You got to stop. You can't, you go, can't go to another city and another city and another city, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta just, and so I would rest and heal up there and then I'd be really, really ready. Then I'd get all my spiritual gifts. So you got to take those moments like that to heal up and yes. you got to find, and you got to find the people that are your true people you're one with. Um, and they taught me oneness. It was really interesting to learn this from these guys. Yes. And, and so, and, and so, so I was able to figure out oneness. and from then, from then on, oh, it became very easy. And, and so, yes. so, so you got to take a moment for yourself. And so I'm just healing you up. I'm getting rid of a few dark energies. I'm healing you up. And now imagine yourself. I want you to imagine yourself now floating up. Imagine yourself, there you go. You floated way, 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 way up. I see you in Zion heaven. And now I see you floating in front of I am throne, the I am throne and I am heaven. And so that's where you are. There's this beautiful throne, all made of crystals. And the I am is there. And he's giving you an I am crown and a crystal in your chest. There we go. Now you feel, feel that? That felt really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. Feel that? And yes. so I see you, I see you. And so this I am crystal, which is in your chest, it's in your center. And so that's going to be a gift that you can give to other people, but oh. just enjoy it for a little while yourself. Okay. Oh, oh yes. Uh, another question. Uh, my relationship with my daughters and my wife are very, very important. Uh, they're just starting school. So if there's anything you can do as a family as a whole, because I know that's my foundation. I can. Yeah, you know, I can clear. Well, I just cleared all of them at one time. And so it's easy. It's very easy to do. You're, you're so one with your people that I can I can be talking to you and clear all the people that you're, you're that are your people. Because you understand. You understand oneness, which is good. Yeah. You know, yes. you may, I don't know if you know you do, you know you don't, but you, but you do. Oh, yes. I understand. We're all one. We heal yeah. one, heal all, as they say. Uh, and I've been uh, very uh, connected with my 
my parents who transitioned. And then I saw a movie yesterday called The Grapes of Wrath, and it touched my heart. It really touched my heart because uh, Henry Fonda's dancing with his mom and singing the song. Can I sing it to you? Yeah. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember <laughs> the Red River Valley and the boy that has loved you so true. Oh, that's beautiful. Tell me the name of the movie. I'm going to watch it. Grapes of Wrath. Okay. Grapes of Wrath. It, it tells the story of a family, you know, in the Dust Bowl in the uh, Depression era and yeah, how it. they were striving to survive. Meanwhile, all the rich folks were getting richer and they were owning big pieces of land. And then these people were just farmers trying to just make a living. But they had spirit. They had courage. They had love. I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to watch this movie. Grapes of Wrath. I love it. Yes, and and, and the Red River Valley, uh, the song. Anyway, and it just brought my mother and father's spirit right close to me. I I don't know if you see my father and mother right now. Well, I do. I see your father and I see your your mother. Uh, Your mother gives you a big hug and your father gives you a big kiss and and, and a hug. And he says that in heaven, he's a lot softer. And he (laughs) said, was he tough? Yeah, he was a tough guy, military guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's telling me he's not now. He says, he says, uh, he, uh, he's laughing. He says he likes himself now. And he says he also really likes you. And he says he really loves you too. And so, did you have a brother? I have uh, uh, two, uh, a brother from my mother and two other brothers from my father's side. He, two half brothers. Yes. Okay. The right mo- now, the- the right. brother from your mother, he says, he now even gets him. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, my father, uh, actually, that brother became a pastor. He's oh. a pastor, Christ, yeah. Uh, mm. And uh, right now the family is divided because my father left the state and everybody's, my mother, stepmother he wants the state. And I said, well, your, father, me- your father says he's a little cuckoo. He does this number. He says, I was a little cuckoo. Sorry. You know, so it's all right. know. money's money's not everything, but money does help. So, uh, yeah. well, he's, been, but he's 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 right there with you, and so yes. he I just see him with you. Ask God for the spiritual gifts you need. Say, God, may I have the spiritual gifts I need? Yeah, yes, God, right now. may I have the spiritual gifts I need? We're okay, so I saw you got I saw you got a you got a big white crown on your head, which has to do with God consciousness. You'll find things will work out better and easy for you in your head. And then you'll be able to pursue it. So that's what I see. Thank yes. you, buddy. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Love you. Thank, love you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I'm having fun. I'm having fun with He's you guys. To you. Yeah. Do we have another? Do we have one more? And then, yes, we, the, the, and, and, you know, and I, here's the thing, guys, this week, I'll, I'll extend like last week's special uh, where I talked about, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I think it's so important for me to work with your energy these days. And I'm doing so many great things with you guys and I'm having fun. So uh, I'll, 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 a 30 minute reading and then 15 minutes of just me doing energy work on you will really sort you out more than your reading will. I'm telling you. And so so uh, if you want to call in book one now, Dean is answering the phone. And so uh, just call 800-827-GARY and Dean will answer the phone and book your reading. And I may even a reading tomorrow. Uh, so I'm working on Sunday, 800-827-GARY. Uh, 800-827-GARY. And because a lot of you guys are available on Sunday and no time, no other time I found. And so, so, okay, I'll do it then. I don't care when we do it. And so uh, 800-827-GARY for a private reading. And I'll give you 45 minutes for a half hour. And so, because I think that the, the, the 15 minutes that I spend just working on your energy and sorting you out will really solve your problems. And so anyway, 800-827-GARY, GarySpivey.com, leave a message. We'll call you right back. So Dean, you answering the phone? Is that what you're doing? I am. If <laughs> you right. call me, I will answer it. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds good. You guys call Dean up and book a reading for this week. Uh, who are we talking to? Thank you. It's actually uh, Allison Richards' friend, Patricia. Okay. <gasps> Patricia. Oh my God. My, Hi, friend. Patricia. my friend. My big friend. What's up? No. Where are you? Oh, here, uh, unmute. Just hit the unmute button. Uh oh, your so camera. Turn, the camera off. Oh. turn your camera back on. That's there okay. you go. And then hit the unmute button where the microphone is. 
Oh. It's all right. She'll get it. She'll get it. We'll, <laughs> we'll wait until she gets it. And so tell her how to do it, Dean. Are you not? Oh, wait till she turns the camera back. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think she turned the if camera If Alice back. is around you, she's a whiz kid. She knows everything about <laughs> Alice. Is there. She, oh, she is. Oh, there we are. Yeah, she knows everything about computers. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we'll just pass on them. We just no, no, no. Hang on. No, hang on. I want to talk. Come back. To okay. Let's see. Welcome back. Patricia. Patricia. Oh, Patricia. Uh, yeah, it, and I can tell the room she was in. Run over. Run over to Alice's computer. You know. It's not our house. No. Oh. Oh, she's not your house. Oh, she's not your. Oh. Uh -huh. Well. I'll, Hey, well, I'll talk to you guys. What's up? Hey, guys. Hey, Alice and Richard. I love you guys. Oh, she, she, she was here. She was here yesterday, but she left. Oh, but she, she did. She, she's in Miltilla Hawk Canyon right now. She might be having a problem getting um, a good a good signal there. Yeah. Well, what does she want to ask me? Do you know? Do you know what the question is? Yes. Yeah. What? What do you think it is, Richard? <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm reading. I'm reading. Uh, what do you see? What do you see? I don't know. I, I it don't might know. be about her friend with a, a, a kid. kid. Here she comes. There she is. She had it unmuted a second ago. There you uh, go. There you are. Okay. Unmuted. There oh, good. Are. Well, there we are. Leave us all alone. Leave us all alone if you would. Okay. I absolutely right. never thought you would call on me, but I am going through so many changes right now. Any insights? I mean, everything is like, woo fast like on a train go to the best man well, well you are the best man that's why i'm here in the moment <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good <laughs> oh you mean like, like like a man man yeah yeah no i actually <laughs> met somebody but it's still in the making you want to look i know i feel it i feel it i'm serious i'm really reading i'm not just playing with you okay yeah it was so deep oh um, i know yeah, I mean, I was rocked for hours energetically. I didn't tell Alice because I knew the whole town would know if I did. Look, Alice, I know something that you don't know. So you pissed Alice off. Anyway, no, because, so. no, because it's still it's still percolating. I mean, I yeah, but feel I feel really good. I feel really good about this one. I'm telling you, I really me, do. Yeah, me too. He's a, he's a little older than I usually pick. He's around sixty. Is um, he getting money? <laughs> Yes. He he, yes, he does. He has, money, he has he has land and he's yeah. he's and and I probably shouldn't even be saying this because he doesn't even I mean, he was rocked. I was rocked, but I, I think he's still shocked. Well, he is like he thought he was not really in the category to find love. Uh, and he never he didn't think he could find love chemistry or in love and he is in love you but you are the most lovable person in the world mm. and so i get this Aww. because that's who you are and, and so but, but he is really really freaked out at how he feels and he feels this to the core of his soul and, oh, he, that, and that so makes you, my, you that makes my heart sing because i'm thinking did i make all this up i no. I, Okay. No, no, right. I'm reading it. I'm reading it. He's like, Thank he's you. really he falls into the soulmate and beyond category. Thank and you, you. you and you also manifested money. And so because yeah. I see he's got plenty of money. And yeah, so he's got a lot of yeah, money. Yeah. And he'll give it to you, which is good because if you want some. And so, I mean, he don't care. He's good. I mean, he's like, really, he's not selfish. Well, uh, he, he hasn't just, contacted me. He's in he's in Montana right now. On we'll go there. Land. No, yeah. no, no, I, I'm not going to try to make anything happen. I think it's organically unfolding how it's supposed to unfold. I think part okay. of him is, I think well, he'll come back in. Well, I think all that's nice, but here's the thing. Make yourself available. Yeah, well, I am available. Okay, make mm -hmm. yourself available to him. Let him know. Okay, read my psychic lips. Let okay. him know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. But I... Uh, uh, so what I find ironic is he regenerates soil and three days before that I got downloaded with Patricia, you need to begin to guide people how to regenerate their body, their soul, their mind. Yeah. 
Well, that's who you are when you walk into the room. You know, here's what I've noticed. Like I talked to a couple of other people tonight. And, and Julia, and I told- my friend, the one you were with, the uh, Italian with the mother stuff. Oh, okay. All right. And so when you see, I talked to a couple of people when you, when they walk, when you walk into the room, the room changes. So you're one of these very special people that's very spiritually led. And when you walk into the room, it changes. When you walk into the town, the town changes. Mm. And so, and so you're one of those beautiful spiritual people who have that ability. So really be aware. And this is what's happening today on the planet earth. Some people have those kind of crazy spiritual gifts. And most of those people are friends with Alison Richards because yeah. they just are the center of every or something. Anyways, it's crazy. And so, so, so this is what it's like spending the weekend at Alison Richards house guys. So you understand why I'm addicted. And so, so because, because all you guys just have friends like her and crazy me and crazy other people that are, are like these people that have this ability, but you are one fantastic healer is who I see you being. And so I'm so happy to talk to you. See, I get teary when I talk uh, uh, to you and about you, but you found this guy. He's your soulmate. Just go with him and shut the hell up. What's wrong with you? <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, I, thank you. I, well, I, I, I'm just, yeah, I will let him know I'm available. Okay. Ma- read my psychic lips. Okay. Stay with me. Say, okay. I, I will marry, will marry money. Money. <laughs> there. money Shut money. the hell up. Very money. Very money. All you girls out there, same thing. Marry money. I will marry money, honey. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I don't know what your question was, but it wasn't important. This is important. Good luck. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you, Allison you. Richard. And <laughs> thank you, Julia, for being courageous. Uh, we really thank uh, Allison Richard for bridging. Yeah. Yeah. They, they bridge everything. All roads lead to them. I figured it out. Exactly. <laughs> and to the chickens and to the land. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. I, I don't know if D, Dean and Michelle, I mean, I've been around them a number of times, but a few years have passed, but it's good to see them. They look beautiful. Oh, Thank they you. So we much. love you so they much. They are beautiful. Good to see you. Patricia. Oh, I get so healed. I get so healed talking to you guys. Thank you guys. Big kisses. Big Thank kiss. You. Big kiss. Big kiss. Love you. I love you guys. Thank you. Love you, Allison Richard. All right. Cool. Love them. Love y'all. They're amazing. That was great. They're all amazing. They're great group. That's what it's like. Visit them. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. We're going. <laughs> so, but but that's what it's like. That's what it's like. And they have people like her. She is really amazing. Yes. She does all these things for people that are like really unbelievable. Uh, yeah. And she, where she shows up, uh, miracles happen. I've seen it happen time and time again. She's so humble. It's where it's really crazy. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tapping into tapping in. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I had so much fun. That was a particular joy for me at the end and with Allison Richard and, and, and you guys. And so um, all you got to do is be aware of your true. I am, let it come to you. Allow yourself to be you uh, call me up, come to the spiritual retreat. That's October 12th through the 15th. Uh, call Michelle right now and book yourself into the spiritual retreat. Be a part of our family. We love you. 702-822-0548, 800-827-GARY, GARYSPIVY.COM. And next week, I'll still do the same special I did last week. And that is, I'll give you 45 minutes for 30 minute session, because I'm going to do 15 minutes of just energy clearing, whether you want it or not. And, and I'm going to clear your energy, get you in touch with your true I am and your true spiritual gifts. And that'll change your life. I love you. 800-827-GARY. Call Dean right now and book an appointment right now. I'll be also working tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys. I love you. Thank you.